So in this tutorial, we will do digital simulation using AutoCAD PSPICE. Uh, so basically, there are a few things required. You need to set up uh, your digital circuit using gates and all other digital circuits. And that includes flip-flops as well. But for this tutorial, we are going to use a really, really very simple circuit using maybe an OR gate or an, or an, or an AND gate or something like that to get you started. You can then take a digital electronics course, create more complicated circuits and do the simulation. That's not the purpose of this tutorial. This tutorial is to let you uh, understand the, the, the environment, the tool that is an AutoCAD tool for these five digital simulation. So what we do is we try to put up a gate something like that something very simple gate uh, maybe an or gate or a nor gate something like that so i go through this and i find this as a nor gate so let's use this and put up the nor gate once you put up this nor gate you know that nor gate is one or let's say this is zero then one or zero is one then output is negative of that which is zero so what we are trying to do is put up some simulation into it so for simulation you go to source in the library that's the default library that we have and then you uh, you you go to uh, you go to something like uh, stimulus stm1 which is a single st uh, single bit stimulus we call it dstm1 and you assign this value by double clicking it, we say there is something called command 1, command 2, command 1 is at 0 second, its value is 0. And now we want to change its value at 1 millisecond, we give it a value 1. And at 2 millisecond, we give it a value again 0. And at 3 millisecond, again 0. And at 4 millisecond, we give it a value of 1. So that is what we have for digital stimulus 1. And then we copy this stimulus, apply to 5, and, and then what we do is we make some change into the digital stimulus 2. So we double click it as we had, it's, it's what it is the copy of this uh, digital stimulus 1. At 0 second we have 0, at 1 millisecond we have 1, 2 millisecond 0, and let's change at 3 millisecond, let's make it 1, and we keep everything else same. And then we want to check the output of U1A, and to do to do that, what we do is we go to PSPICE, and, uh, and then we create a new simulus, simulation profile, Give it something, some name like uh, Digsimo, and uh, once you do that, it, it gives us a window. On this window, you got to select the time domain and not the DC, AC, or bias points um, in, uh, in analysis type. It's time domain in analysis type. In the options, you select the gate level simulation, and you can also like to see initialize all flips up to something more defined value like zero and once you do that you can uh, you can then go back to analysis and then run to time you want to run up to four milliseconds that's how we set up our our stimulus in one second two seconds three seconds four seconds click on apply click on ok and then we just run this um, piece by but there is one thing you notice that in the warning, no spice template for you were ignoring. Basically, our simulation did not find any profile P spice profile template for you were and that's why this simulation will not have any waveform for the output. For example, you can find the waveform for the stimulus one. You can find the stimulus for waveform for the stimulus two, which is zero. Uh, for first one is zero one zero zero, the second one is zero one zero one, as we noticed. But we don't have anything uh, that says for the output. We we have no nothing for output at u one a. So we there's some problem, and the problem is there is no no piece by template for u one a. Basically, there is no model 
for your data. So we delete this. The problem is with this uh, selection of the library. And basically, the library that we have selected is for just the display, not for the uh, not for the simulation. So we add a library which is in the pspy subdirectory. So we go to there and then we select a library that says ditch abn. And once we select that library, there are a number of gates that has the, um, the model for simulation. And let's say we select one of them. Uh, we started with north. So let's do the north gate itself with here itself. Slightly different size, but it has this functionality. And we can join this wire, though it's not required. And then run the simulation again. And you should notice that we do not have the error here. So we go to the window that's created, created when we run it. Now you see that you can uh, have, you have the voltage for U1A and U1 output. So basically we can now, uh, we can now plot this, uh, this, uh, this uh, time and voltage uh, uh, X uh, curve. We, we first plot the digital stimulus 1 which is 0, 1, 0, 0, and then we can add digital stimulus 2 which is 0, 1, 0, 1, and then finally we plot the output as which is u1 a y so we see that zero or uh, zero is zero and it's inverted is one so that's our, our output is correct as expected one or one is one and its output negative is zero so this output result is zero so we can similarly analyze all the outputs to find that the output is correct hope that it helps to create more uh, digital um, simulations using AutoCAD piece by capture.